Hello everyone, so this is something that you guys have been asking me for a long time which is how to convert your CGPA or percentage into a 4.0 GPA so that you know you know how to apply to college, you can meet all their minimum criteria and all that, okay? It's gonna be a pretty short video because there's not really much for me to discuss about. Here's a formula that you guys can use to convert your CGPA or percentage, it works with percentage as well, uh, to a GPA. So this formula is essentially you take your CGPA and you divide it by topper CGPA and then you multiply it by 4.0 to get your GPA, okay? So for example, if you have a 7.5 CGPA and the topper has a 9.5 CGPA, then your GPA would effectively be this much, okay? So how accurate is this? Eh, not really that accurate because as I've stated so many times, there's no accurate way for you guys to convert your CGPA into a GPA because there's just, it's just not an equal conversion. The two things are not calculated equally and there's just no accurate way, right? But this is sort of like a rule of thumb, like a hand rule, not a rule of thumb, like a hand rule that you can use to sort of figure out where your GPA is at so that you guys can understand whether you meet the minimum criteria of any university and all that, okay? So if you guys, you know, use this formula and you, and you, you know, find your calculated GPA and if you meet the minimum criteria of a university to apply, then great. If you don't meet it, I would say it's okay as long as you're within like 0.1 or 0.15 within that minimum criteria, I think it'll be fine. It's kind of a risk, but it's okay. You can just take that risk. Keep in mind that universities will never ask you to convert your CGPA to GPA when you apply, all right? They will just ask you, okay, what is your CGPA or percentage? You know, how did they calculate? What was it out of? What was your score? And that's the only thing they'll, cal they'll ask you, okay? They'll never ask you for a calculation because even they understand that there's no accurate way to calculate that. All right, so that's it for this video. I know there's not much here, but if you guys are wondering about what, what is a good GPA, you know, how important is GPA in your admissions, um, you know, process, uh, what is the impact of backlogs, will it really negatively affect your application and all that. I've done an entire video on that. You guys can just go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description that has like, you know, a full detail explanation and all that. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed for more graduate program related information, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.